When you use ideas in your paper that you got from somewhere else, such as a quote from an article or a paraphrase of something you read online, you need to give credit to the source. You will do that in two places, your in-text citations and your references page. In this video, we will go over how to do your references page. Your references page is typically the last page of your paper. Start by putting the word references centered at the top of the page. Let's go over some of the most common reference types. Journal articles are probably the most common source type you'll use in college. Here's what that should look like. You'll have the author's last name and first initial followed by the year in parentheses. If you have more than one author, you would list each of those, last name first, in the order they appear in the article. Then you insert the title of the article. Everything in the title should be lowercase except the first letter of the title, the first letter of the subtitle, and any proper nouns. After this, you would put the title of the journal and volume number in italics, followed by the issue number in parentheses and the page range of that article. You should be able to find all of this information on the article itself. Some journal articles have a DOI number and some don't. DOI numbers are ID numbers for that particular article. If you see one on your article, you can use that. Otherwise, you will want to put the words retrieved from followed by the web address where you found the article. Another common source type is a website. Website citations look like this. You'll see that it's similar to the citation we just did. APA style follows the same basic format with slight variations. In this one, you are using the title of the website instead of an article title. How should these be formatted? Like the rest of your paper, your references should be double spaced. Your references page also uses what's called a hanging indent. This means that the first line of a citation is in line with your margins, but all the lines after it are indented half an inch. You can do this by highlighting your references, right clicking, clicking on paragraph, and selecting hanging under special indentation. Your citation should also be in alphabetical order by last name. Word can do this for you. Simply highlight your references and select the A to Z button on the Home tab and hit OK. Are you missing some of this information or have a different type of citation, such as a book, a newspaper, or even a YouTube video? Check out the library's APA guide to get help. It's important to understand APA, but there's no reason to memorize it when there are resources available to help you out. One tool we recommend is CitationFox which breaks down citations by source type, format, number of authors, etc. You can use these to fill in the blanks. If you're using a journal article from one of our databases, there is a cite button on the page to give you your citation. If you need any assistance with your citations, be sure to ask a librarian.